everybody. Welcome to Wade Farms. We're, uh, brought this tractor from a friend in the big old gravel driveway. easy I guess well you know what happened to me what I happened to switch gears and I must have hit that lever with my thumb and it still looks forward but it popped it neutral I couldn't get it going again alright so we gotta lay this out real quick so we can start digging all right um yeah when you first got into it I uh I, I got video of you uh, like um not necessarily popping the clutch, but kind of popping the clutch a little bit. We will use both tractors. Yeah, I can run one and, or I will run the blue one. Let me. That's way easier to run. This thing's kind of hard. Yeah. What I, I want, <clears throat> what do I, I got to find the paint. Paint. Other side. Oh, oh, it's somewhere. Isn't it this? No. Okay. There's two bottles if you need a... No. What right. I'm thinking about doing is... Kind of angling it wide here. Um, like coming right from here. Yeah. And then here. Prob okay. You just have to, and then probably here. Okay, professional, professional. Good lines. Then, I'd curve it maybe just a little bit like this way, but. Well, I got. I'm gonna run it so it goes straight into the cement. Okay. So I gotta keep going this way a little bit. So you're you're having it as wide as the pavement the whole way. No. No, you're gonna slim it down. Yeah. Okay, but the way I would do it is I would make it 20 foot wide there and then slim it down to 10 foot and then go back to whatever that is, 20 or what so have you. Gunner! 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 Buddy! Yeah, must be a 5 Series 85 horsepower, so. And then straight to the cement. Hopefully she'll get the job done. Here, stand at that one and line me up. Over it. That's like a little bit this way. Like, yeah, right there, pretty much. About, yeah. Okay, get me on it again. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yep. Right through there. All right. Uh, a little bit more this way. This way? This way, just a little bit more. Oh, well. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. Over more. Half okay. foot, probably. Right there, perfect. That That's... I know that one looks off, but that one was off when you painted it, and now it's back straight again. Okay, and I can change the one. Is that about right here? Yeah. Yeah, that looks decent. Looks pretty good. Stop. Hey. Don't put me in there. I want my leader. Okay. Right yeah, about right there. I see the one that's off. Yeah. It's this one. Yeah. And the first one should be up. Eh. Yeah, about. It should be about here. Yeah, about right there. That's that's why I said I was like, keep moving over. He started spraying. I was like, oh no. 
Okay, and then what I want to do here is I want to come. And we can not saws on branch some branches off and stuff, you know. Uh, I want to come right from that corner to about where I'm standing. And then angle kind of closer to that and then we'll loop it around. Okay. So about here. All right. Line with the corner. Uh, yeah, like perfect. It's like perfect. And then again. Uh, a little over a little bit. Like right there, right there, yeah. Oh, the little trickies. You got rust oleum paint? That wasn't me. I, I was right. John. Let me come over here. Alright. But, um,. Yeah, the way I would have angled it for like the driveway and stuff, you know, um, have it angle out and then slim down a little bit. Is that what you're kind of thinking? Or it's gonna be a lot of fun work. Fun, fun work. That thing will get it done fast, though. I kind of wanted a little bit wider here, so, so you it's could... not such a. Well, we can even arc that a little bit. I'm thinking about right here. Alright. Well, hold on, let me just do this. You got you gotta go to dump the crocs, man. Well that's like 13 feet. Well, let's make it an even 14, how about that? Um that should be plenty to drive on. Oh but yeah. At that's... this point we're gonna wanna kinda stay about twelve feet. But I do wanna put it right here. Okay, that is the rut I'm looking at. Yeah, that's... Okay. Now stand here and get lined up with this rut. Pardon me. Uh, a little over to the, this way, a little bit more closer to you. Right there, about. Looks about good. Good? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Looks pretty good right there. Good? All right. A little bit more this way. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now, you might want to go get the chain out of the truck. You want to grab that? Yeah. Well, what would be best is if I stop the camera and uh, just uh, measure this out and we'll go back to dip. All right. Hop in this bad boy. We'll plug her one time. Sorry if y'all can't see that good. It's the best I can do. It will go plug it two times. push that shit in a little bit and just dump it right here. Okay. That plastic thing's got to get out of there. That should have been thrown, thrown inside that because that's got to go. Alright, I so didn't you even... You got to help me move this. It's going to be all right. You have to move it over there. I don't know how much we're going to do tonight, but we're going to play a little bit. Probably won't get much done. Alright. Uh. 
So we're just gonna take it by a tractor load once we get it full? I'm gonna haul it back and forth to escape it to the middle, I'll take the middle off. Cause that tractor ain't gonna build edge. Good thing we have a little tractor. Yeah. I think if I bought one that 48 for it would be plenty. It'd be perfect and yeah, everything. A little bit smaller bucket, but the hydro stack's gonna be way faster. But this is kinda hard to use. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I get that.
no-go for me. That spot, you can see it. See how bad the ruts are. We'll switch and we'll do this side. Oh crap, quarter, uh, half to quarter tank fuel I'll have to fill her up tomorrow. This is about all the way. I 
have to push it a little bit more for that bucket to even tip. So if something's wrong, so you can see I can go like this and I'll tip. I have to go all the way like this stock tip. And it, it won't really tip that good. Something's wrong with it. I don't know if it was me just trying to tip too much dirt that I can handle or something, but we're gonna go back this in the garage, call her a night. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell post notifications. Uh, we did quite a bit of work. Quite proud of this little tractor, but yes, we uh, we do kind of need an upgrade on uh, of a tractor. 35 might work good on the small end. 45 might be pretty good. This 25 still gets the job done. So if you're looking to buy a used New Holland uh, tractor, this one will definitely get the job done. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, bell, post notifications. Catch you guys next time. Wade Farm.